What's up YouTube, YNKHD here with a special unboxing. Um, today we are going, switching gears to Apple and Mac OS X. Here I have the 2014 MacBook Pro with Retina display that I just bought today. Um, I came home a few minutes ago and I want to unbox it for you. This is a mid-2012 uh, MacBook Pro. Um, it has a 2.5 gigahertz Intel i5 processor in it. It has a 500 gigabyte SATA 3 hard drive. It has 8 gigabytes of RAM. And it is currently running uh, Mac Yosemite Beta. So basically, this it was my workhorse. This was the video editing. This did everything for me. A few weeks ago, I bought a Mac Mini um, to take the brunt load of this because I wanted this to be more portable and a more of a... You know, Mac is my personal computer, and then the the uh, HPs and, and uh, Lenovo's, those I do just for reviews and to try them out. Um, but the Mac books are they my personal com personal computer, and when when talking about this compared with like the H book, HP um, Folio 9470M and the ThinkPad T440s, this thing is heavy. It's thick, as you can see. Um, so I, I sold this and um, just, and I decided to go with the Retina display. Um, this model is the 2014, I believe it's August of 2014. They just be, uh, made a new chipset that uh, this laptop came out a few days ago. So I got lucky and got the nice new one. Um, it has a 2.6 gigahertz fourth generation Intel Haswell i5 processor in it. It has 256 uh, gigabytes of flash storage, so they're getting away with the traditional hard drives and going more to flash, which is ten times as faster as a hard drive because you don't have a little disk spinning. Okay, um, it has eight gigabytes of RAM, and I do plan on upgrading it to Yosemite Beta. Yosemite Beta is beautiful. It the computer runs beautifully, even though it's beta. I had not had one problem. Knock on wood. Um, I can't wait till the full release comes out because I'm sure it's going to blow everybody away if it's going to be even better than it was now. Um, and also another thing that I like that's an improvement over the MacBook is the battery life on the MacBook Retina. Um, I believe the Pro Mid-2012 was running, it could go from like 4 to 6 hours depending on your usage. Well, they upped the ante with the Retina, even with that beautiful display, you could get up to 9 hours of battery life out of this computer. And that is beautiful because, you know, nine hours out of a day, I'm not on a computer. So, that's perfect. Uh, again, the display is magnificent on this. It's the Retina. So, it's a full HD. Uh, it's some crazy specs. Uh, we'll get into that more. Um, this is just an unboxing video I, and a comparison between your traditional MacBook Pro that has your disk slot on the side. And this is like the model that everybody bought, you know, every but he wanted was a MacBook Pro and this was it and now we're getting into this age of the MacBook Pro and it's fantastic and tell you the truth I really don't need that disk drive you know many people say oh that's very convenient you could download everything now if you want to watch a movie get an external one I have one um, so without further ado let's unbox this so I got the nice bag from Apple all right so, the new box um, for the MacBook Pro right now, move that to the back, it's kind of like a mega iPad box, you know, there's no more with the little handle and it, it, it pops open and you crank it off. You know, it's you cut it open, take the plastic off and you just pop up the cover. So I'm going to get our unboxing knife because what would an unboxing be without the unboxing knife? So I will be right back. Alright, so I have my unboxing knife here, the Special Operations Group knife. Um, so, let's unbox it. So like I said, you have the 2.6 gigahertz processor, a 13.3 inch screen, 8 gigs of RAM, and a 256 gigabytes of flash storage. So the Retina display, I'll give you the uh, exact specs. So a full HD display is, um, I believe, 1960 by 1080p. 
um, this display is 2560 by 1600p. So it's beautiful. It has the Intel Iris graphics, not the Intel 5000, so they upgraded the graphics on it. Um, a new generation of Wi Fi, the uh, 802.11 AC Wi Fi. It has the beautiful dual fans. Um, you know, that's what those little slots are on the sides, those are your cooling systems. It has a best in the market sound system, they upgrade for my daily driver is because I just feel that they are built very well you know with the unibody display um, I'm sorry the unibody construction build and also the inability to get a virus or, or malware or anything that worries everybody that makes everybody go out and spend five hundred dollars on antivirus just the you know I have not put antivirus on that you know they do make antivirus for Mac but I have not put antivirus on that MacBook right there my 2012 and knock on wood never got had any problems any so I just the operating system of you know Mac is just very well made alright so ladies and gentlemen for late 2014 here is your MacBook Pro with Retina Display 13.3 inch model. So I'll just pop off the cover here. Got more stuff. So it's packed in there tight. Lots of goodies. Alrighty. So. Just put that there. So first upon entering the box, you will see the laptop itself with this nice little flap so we're gonna just lift up that flap and is there it, it's such a difference it's so much lighter look at the thinness people that is just magnificent and I believe the footprint yes the footprint is smaller which I'll get to in a second than the MacBook so they did make the bezels around the um, screen much thinner which I love thin bezels I think it just gives a nice sleek and chic modern look to it. So, you have your um, wall adapter extension, which is always nice to have, and you have your MagSafe 2 power adapter. Um, what's kind of funny about these is that the new MagSafe, it's kind of going back old school, you know, this was, this was, um, this was the look of the older MacBook Pro uh, MacBooks in like 20, 2008 and I had a 2007 black MacBook um this was the style now we're going back to it which I like this better than that kind of like line shape because whichever way you put it it just got annoying but this slides in right beautifully and you're rocking and rolling so we'll put that off to the side along with that and then of course we always have our little setup book here that gives you those stickers and they also include a microfiber cloth that is apple stamped um this is always nice to put in your bag and clean that beautiful screen of yours um but that's new um probably because it's such an amazing screen so what i like to do is i like to just put it back into its little protective plastic so it doesn't get even more dirty and then i just put it into my bag and that's that. Then you have your hello, quick startup guide, um, all your features, the ports, how to use everything, how to get started with Migration Assistant if you're moving from computer to computer. Um, you have your the product information guide and then of course your signature Apple stickers that are bigger because they are for the MacBook Pro and then the smaller ones you get with your iPhone or iPad. But that's always pretty cool to have those stickers. So we'll just put everything back in this little box. There is nothing else. Um, I believe this... Yeah, this cardboard, this um, plastic piece is like in there. So we're going to close it up. And we'll get to the MacBook itself. A lot of air. Alright, so here is the MacBook Pro with Retina Display. Um, 
as you can see, it is much thinner. We'll do a comparison test than your traditional MacBook. Um, actually, we'll do a top on top. So that gives you the best. So as you can see, it's much, much thinner, much slimmer. Um, by taking out that, this, you know, the disk drive, you, they, they're able to get it much thinner. Um, and also look at the footprint. It is a smaller footprint, which is great. You know, everybody loves that smaller footprint. The smaller the computer, the better. Especially if it's for um, commuting purposes. And it is so much lighter. The lightness is, is just... This is like a beast compared to this little MacBook here. Um, so we will do, we'll uncover it. Take the plastic off, I'll just open up this to do a bezel comparison. Like I said, I'm running Yosemite, so that is what the backup is. So you can peel this back. Peel that up and slide the MacBook straight out and that is that. And off to the side. So let's do an obligatory around the horn on ports. Um, ports did change for this model. This side, you have your SD card reader. You have an HDMI, full HDMI port, uh, USB 3.0 port, so they went with the HDMI. You have your MagSafe 2 power adapter, one Thunderbolt, another Thunderbolt, so you have three video out connections, um, which is just fantastic. You have another USB 3.0, and you have your combo microphone headphone jack, I'm sorry, your headphone jack and these two little circles here are your microphones dual stereo microphones now these three slots on there and these three slots on there are your vents those are for your cooling purposes um they those keep your laptop cool so there's like two fans placed in here so upon opening the laptop very rigid Okay, very, very nice. Very nice and strong. Okay. As you can see, the bezels have gotten smaller. Um, I believe the trackpad is the same size. But the hinge now is more of a hexagon shape instead of just a, uh, a like a, a cylind cylinder shape or like a square with a rounded edge. Um, this is more of a hexagon shape, which is very nice. As you can see, this MacBook is taller. And we will do a... The, the power button has changed. So this was the eject button, and this is now the power button. So it, it starts up, and you could just get a good look at the pixel. I'm sorry, the bezel. How much the bezels are... Uh, so much thinner on the MacBook with Retina than on the MacBook Pro, which I just love. To use English for the main um, Press the so, that's basically it on the MacBook Pro with Retina display. I'm going to get it set up, get it going. Um, I will come back with a full review on the MacBook Pro once I get it going. And um, once I start using it, I am going on vacation this weekend, so... I'm bringing my MacBook along so I get a good sense of using it and playing around with it and seeing what the improvements are on the, excuse me, this guy's talking to me, what the improvements are overall on the uh, laptop itself. So, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you have any questions about the MacBook or any Apple products, drop a question in the comment section below um, and check back later for a, another Another review on the MacBook Pro with Retina Display. So wherever you are, have a good night, good morning, good afternoon, good weekend, good day. Enjoy, people. This was YNKHD coming at you live with the...
2014 MacBook Pro with Retina Display 13.3 inch model. See you later.